In this video, I'm going to tell you the step-by-step -step process on how to design a logo from concept to presentation. And I'll be using Corel Draw X7 to do this tutorial. Without any further ado, let's go into the video. What is going on? My name is Dennis. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here, kindly subscribe and click on the bell icon because I help graphic designers find success in their career. So I promise to unveil the full meaning of HP logo, which is Hewlett Packard. And it was gotten from the names of the two inventors of HP, that is Hewlett and Packard. So if you got the answers correctly, I will clap for you and also I'll give you a thumbs up. So I will scrape this out. This is video two in this series. So if you've not watched the video one, kindly check the description and watch a video on logo design that will help you to understand this video too very well. Okay, in this particular video, I'm going to break down the process of designing a logo and we will be taking it step by step following the design cycle i hope you've watched a video on them um, the design cycle if you've not watched then i'll put a link on the description so you watch the design cycle maybe after watching that video you will understand the design cycle very well and we come back to our logo design so without wasting much time let's go into our exercise now you have a friend who is about to start a mobile phone sales business and he has not come up with a brand name yet also, he does not have enough money to pay a professional designer with years of experience to design for him. And he promised to give you a new phone as soon as the business kickstarts. And you agree to this because you need a new phone. First, create a rough logo concept. Write down words associated with phone shop business. Identify possible icons and also identify possible colors. At this point, we are just trying to develop ideas. Okay, let's do a Q&A. What type of logo will you create for your friend? Is it a combination mark, letter mark, symbol or icon or an emblem? Of course, you might want to design an icon cause he has not come up with a brand name yet. But if you feel you need to use text, you can still design and use placeholder text. But in general, your clients should provide you with anything and not expect you to come up with a name unless they have to pay you. So let's go back to the concept we created for your friend's phone shop. What you should know is that you should not start designing just like that. You have to follow the design cycles. So now, if we should follow the design cycles, um, I think we are going to start by the briefing. So now we have got all we want to get for the logo design because he has not come up with a name yet and he has told us it's a phone shop. Now we are going to move to the next step of the design cycle, which is the research and brainstorming. The two words that came into my head when I'm thinking of a phone shop business is communication and network. And when we talk about network, we should be talking about a network, either one that uses wire or a wireless network. And talking about communication, I'm thinking of um, a telephone and also a phone. So all I'm going to do is to combine these two main keywords to form icons that will help me to design the logo effectively. Now I'm using this idea for the sake of this video and for the sake of logo design in this video. So your own logo may be different though you still have to follow the design cycle which will guide you throughout your logo design. But you have to do a thorough research before going into logo design. You have to go into the net, find out words and more keywords. I only came up with two keywords but in your own logo you can come up with more keywords than that to help you design your logo effectively and for the sake of shortening this video I have to work with these two keywords so I'm going to create two logo concepts using my pen and a plain paper here 
to make this design in a very specific way. So concerning our research and brainstorming stage, I came up with this logo designs. One with a phone and a symbol showing a network transmission and the other with a network which is the number two and a phone with also a network with different pattern and also I use one with a text which is Johnson phones. Sorry I did not tell you that my friend's name is Johnson. I decided to use this Johnson phones cause if he decides to change the logo to a logo that carries his name then this will go for it. That's why I said you should use placeholder text so in case your client wants to change the name of the company. So now for us to pass through this stage to the next stage which is the thumbnails we have to find out resources we'll be using for this logo design and what are the resources it's either you go online and search for more logo ideas where you can get resources for the design or you simply create yours but in this case i'm going to work with what i have right now so without wasting much time i'll move to the production stage which is to produce my logo so let's head on to the computer without wasting much time okay i'm going to start designing the logo number one i'm going to do something like this So I came up with this logo design ideas. I've been able to bring my idea from the paper to my screen and this is what I came up with. Next thing I'm going to do is to add colors to make this logo more unique and better. You know, when choosing colors, you have to be guided when choosing colors. Colors has meaning. So any color you should use on this logo should have a meaning and the colors i'm going to use on this logo must be something that is associated to phone business maybe something that is associated to quality and um, boldness so i'm going to use colors that shows quality i'll put a link on the description to watch a video if you want to know more about color theory So these are the colors I came up with. So if it were to be you, tell me which of the logos will you choose? I will level this one A, B, C, and D. Tell me which one would you have chosen if you were to be Johnson, which happens to be my friend. Tell me which one would you have chosen? I will add a little disclaimer to this video. This video is not teaching you how to design a logo. I'm only showing you how to use the design cycle to achieve an effective logo design. And mind you, after designing your logo, you have to present it, which happens to be the last step of the design cycle. And how do you present your logo? The best way to present your logos are mock-ups. Yes, you can use mock-ups to present your logos in a very beautiful way. So, next thing I'm going to do is to export these four logos I've been able to do and put them in a mock-up to see how it looks like. Then, I can present it to my friend. After the present stage, be sure that your friend will choose only one of these logos and after choosing one of them, there will always be need to perfect it again. So, don't conclude that this is the last step. You can still go back to the research and brainstorming again. That is if your friend was not satisfied with your logo design. So, what next do we do? After placing my logos in a mock-up, this is what I came up with. And my friend happens to choose the one with the placeholder text and he also said he wants to use this as his logo he is very happy for this at least seeing his name on the logo and also the symbol that shows a network which simply means he is into phone business and this will represent 
his brand let me know down in the description if this video was helpful and thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned because more videos on logo design are still coming i will see you and you see me next time